Howdy everybody, welcome back to Astroneer, this is episode 10, and last time guys, we went to what I thought was the core of this planet right here, the exotic planet. Uh, however, I have subsequently found out that what we reached was not in fact the core, but just a uh, astronium deposit, an ore deposit, very near the core. So what I've done is I've gone back to my home planet, gathered up a whole bunch more compound, uh, because... Uh, we need it to make all the tethers to get to the center of this exotic planet. And then we're going to head over to our base on the exotic planet right over here. Hopefully that's the right one. So yeah, I just gathered up a whole bunch of compound, some resin. Uh, because I haven't really found too much compound on this exotic planet. I think it's mostly... Oh, hello truck. Oh, rip truck. What the world? <laughs> Come on now. Hang on. Uh, okay, let's... Get into our truck. Oh, this is bad. This is this is very bad. Can I? Let's see. <laughs> we gotta free our truck here. Oh no! Don't glitch out on me. Don't glitch out on me, thing. All right, I think it's somewhat better now. It's still attached too, isn't it? All right, let's try this. Let's try just backing out. There we go. Okay, good. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> is get it out of that area. Is it still glitched out now? Anyway, yeah, today, guys, we are going to reach the actual core of the planet. Let's see if we can actually get in here now. And drive away, maybe? Somewhat? Somewhat? Nope, it's still glitching. Yeah, it's still definitely glitching. Um, okay, so we don't want to lose this truck for sure. Um, let's see if we can just smooth out the terrain a little bit, maybe. Alright, it's still, still glitching. There we go, okay. There we go, that seems more reasonable. Perfect. Perfect, let's move it over here so it's out of the way. There we go. Much, much, much better. Alright, so now with most of our resources offloaded, we're ready to head to the core. I've made some tethers as well, and we have some compounds to make more if necessary. But I don't want to make too many, just in case. Um, so, let's go ahead and head on down here, and I'll sort of, uh, yeah, walk you guys through the trip down to the core here. Show you guys the entirety of the way down, because it is quite a ways down here, actually. <laughs> Didn't, it might not have appeared that way in the last video, but it actually is... A long trip to the core for me so this is the way out right here you guys have seen this and then down here is the start of sort of like the crust caves right here so this is like the if you think of that it is like a like a normal planet or like an earth-like planet there's sort of like three or four distinct layers here as we go down and I'll sort of describe those to you guys but um, yeah this exotic planet doesn't really seem to have too much compound or resin so I've had to import a lot of those from the the home planet, um, but it does seem to have a lot of rare materials like coal, or rarer materials like coal, uh, iron ore. It also has a lot of aluminum, stuff like that. So this is the cave here we found with all the nasty plants in it. We're just going to run right by this and past all this stuff. Still says there's some aluminum over here, which there probably is. We'll just head down here. So this is another cave. You see some aluminum ore up there. We're just going to sprint on through here. And apparently these red things here, these things like are like aliens that will like kill you, basically. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid those as well. Uh, so let's make our way over here. You see more green plants in the distance. We'll run around here. There's some hydrazine on the ceiling there. Right above us. There's more green plants here. These guys will actually shoot at us over here. These guys up there. Let's just run by those so the gas doesn't get us. Oh, we gotta be a little careful. Power sliding, power sliding. Walk it out. There we go. Yeah, nice. Alright, so this is the end of the first cave here. And this is where I started to make sort of like a, the tunnel down, the snaking tunnel down. Come over this way. I believe this is the way. Yep, this is it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> cool. 
Cool. So, uh, let's see. I think... Yeah, this this one, the tethers are actually in the cave. But beyond this... Oh, another power slide. Okay, we gotta be real careful with that power slide. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna die. So, yeah, you see that, that hole up... Let's see if we can see it. Up there, that's where I fell through. I almost died last episode. And then I think this cave down here, this secondary cave, this is like the the bottommost cave. So this is like where the crust, the normal terrain where you can get to, ends without you just digging blindly through the, the ground. So at this point, I sort of venture off into another realm. Whoa, okay. Let's let's stop the power slide and thank you. Thank you. Um, and this is where I started to sort of snake around a little bit. Uh, we have to be super careful here because, yep, stuff like that might happen. Uh, this is where I dug out some coal, I believe. Yeah, right here. You can see some coal in the walls. Uh, let's see. Let's keep heading down this way. And we got to be super careful not to fall, accidentally fall into the straight down area, straight down mine shaft area right here. Because that will lead to certain death. You can see that just goes, yeah, straight down to the core or near the core. So we'll take a little bit of fall damage going down here, but hopefully nothing too serious. I don't think there's any huge gaps anywhere. And let's see, right here, this joins up with the... Okay, we gotta float over that. Alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta float over that there, and then it comes down here. So it was kind of a construed effort to get back up. This is all. This was all made when I dug back up from the... Uh, what I thought was the core at that time, but actually is not, in fact, the core. So we'll just fall down here. So this would be like the mantle of of the planet, essentially, this purple stuff. So like the secondary layer. There is like ores and stuff, uh, rare ores here. And then once we transition to the green section, which is right here, yeah. This is sort of what I would consider the core of the planet here. And this is where, okay, okay, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is where it becomes a little bit disorienting with the gravity. You can see now I do float quite significantly higher because gravity is lessened. Well, not really lessened, but you, uh, you're you closer to weightlessness here because more of the planet is above you than was on, uh, below you on the uh, surface, essentially. So, yeah, your total weight has gone down, basically. You also take a lot more fall damage near the core because it's easier to float up into the air. Even if you just like walk off a basic section of the core, you'll actually fall pretty far if you're not careful. Oh, like this! Okay, 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 okay. Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah, yep, like that. I fell down quite a, quite a bit there. And then right here, this is the part I think that really confused me because right here it seems like... You start to be, if I jump in the air here, well, it doesn't really work this time, but it seemed like I was starting to um, move toward a potential core this way. So I sort of, yeah, got a little bit fooled there by the change in orientation. Uh, but this still keeps coming down here. You can see the tether is still connected to me. It has, it has been pretty much the whole time, essentially. So we're still going down into the core. And then... <laughs> Eventually here we will hopefully You can see we're getting some major hang time now due to the uh, Nature of the core We should eventually reach a point uh, Let's see where is this safe to go across here. Yeah, okay, so I'm still being pulled down to the ground now That's the that's the important thing To sort of note here Gotta be very careful though because like I said more fall damage in these lower portions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'll come down here. Just gotta make sure we're not dying at the bottom here. Yeah, see, look at that. You can really take off down here. And this down here, I, I made a little bit steeper because you don't necessarily need a lot of space to, uh, to work with here. Let's see. There we go, there's the tether once again, connecting. So we're taking a lot of fall damage because it's easier to get up this than it is to get down, for sure. 
don't take any fall damage and stuff, so you can make it a little bit steeper as you go up, because you can jump higher. And we should be getting close to where we found the ore a little bit. At least a little bit of the ore, the astronium ore. And look at that, look at that floating. Oh, that was a lot of damage, yep. <laughs> yeah, so you you float a lot down here. They all float down here. <laughs> That's what they say. Not really. Nobody says that. Only I say that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess here... I went... Okay, I guess I went straight down to here then. I just floated down like this. Uh, this doesn't seem correct. <laughs> but we're gonna go down anyway. Let's just see what happens here. I'm just gonna float down very gingerly. Yeah, okay. Yep. And... Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, here we go. So now we are at the... What I thought was the core. This turns out this is just a deposit of astronium ore. So the actual core, you can see I'm not quite floating down. And basically what, ha what should be happening is I should be... Even though I'm floating for quite a significant amount of time, uh, I should be... Whenever I come down to like here, I should be like reversing in uh, orientation. Like my my head should flip around. I should totally flip around because gravity will be um, yeah pulling me up from the bottom of this, and it should also be pulling me down from the top of this. Um, so what this means is we're not at the true core. This is not the true core. I apologize uh, for uh, <laughs> mistakenly mistakenly uh, thinking that I got to the core. And, so, what that means is we need to go down further to continue our journey to the core. Because we just don't want to kind of get to the core where like this is. We want to get all the way to the actual core. So I'm going to... I think I can safely jump into this hole here that I made. And so somewhere down below us here is the actual core. And we are going to find it. Wow, we are super close to it, though, I gotta say. <laughs> um, so, let's just keep going down. Um, okay, it looks like, again, the orientation is a little bit wonky. So, let's just see what happens as we keep go Oh, keep going down. Okay, be very, very careful as we do this. Alright, there we go. And the method I used to sort of... You can see how slowly we fall. Like, if I just barely tap it, we're still like falling like incredibly, incredibly slowly. Looks like it's down this way. Alright guys, I am now at the core of the planet. Uh, so, the way I can tell this is by doing a little bit of an experiment here. So, I'm going to just drop this resource here at the top here. And you'll see, it will ever so slowly begin to accelerate down toward the core right here what I'm, that I'm standing on essentially and if I put it down here you'll see it'll accelerate in this way there you go so yeah you can tell that we are actually standing on what is basically the core uh, it is very difficult to get around out here I'll just keep that there um, and let me just show you <laughs> so all these tethers here you see were placed such that I was uh, oriented on the side of the wall, basically, like standing up this way. Um, so, if I just go ahead and just lay myself off here, you'll see that, yeah, I'll go down for a little ways, and then all of a sudden I'll start to come back up, I think. Yep, so now I'm floating upwards, so... Yep, we are definitely... We are definitely at the core right now. <laughs> so this is it right here, pretty much. And yeah, I have to say, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. Let me just make my way back over here. I have to be very careful because if you jump here, you're pretty much done. Like, there's no hope of coming back. And you can also sort of like circumnavigate the core, which is what I did over here. Like, I can just come on down here. And yeah, like I said, which way is up right now is a little bit suspect. Like, it's not really clear which way is up, which way is down. <laughs> So, yeah, and he, like, for instance, here I'm floating upwards for some reason. Um, so, yeah, guys, we made it. We made it to the core. Pretty, pretty awesome. I want to see if I can go down here. 
Down we go. Eventually you accelerate toward this big blob here. Uh, no matter where you're at, so... Yeah, here we are. Here we are. You can't, you can't really walk too quickly. Because otherwise, stuff will get crazy. Oh man. I just hope I don't, you know, accidentally mess up the, the calculation. And take massive fall damage there. Oh, there we go. We slid down. Oh, yep. And now we're floating back up again. <laughs> yep, so the physics is really, really crazy here at the core. Please calm down. Please calm down. There we go. Awesome. So now, now that we've reached the core, there's plenty of astronium here, so I can always come back whenever I want to to get some of that. But we gotta find our way back out, which is gonna be easier said than done. Yep. Up. Oh, floating up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to run too quickly off the side because running up quickly becomes running down, as you just saw right there. <laughs> and then you take some fall damage. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can make our way back down this way. Like I said, we can't be too careful here. Gonna slowly float down. And yeah, eventually you're pulled toward the center of this big mass. That's basically what happens. There we go. Okay. And so let's try to make our way back up this direction. And once again, we're floating up. Uh, okay, let's get on over here. Hopefully we can land soon. There we go. I think we're well, nope, we're still going up. Alright, let's see if we can just... Alright, we can, we can probably jump off of this. And make our way up and out. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah, alright, sweet. Awesome, and then once you get... Once you get away from the immediate core... You can, uh... <laughs> you can sort of, like, yeah, make your way up and do whatever at that point. So... Yeah, there we go, guys. Alright guys, so I've been back to the surface now, and now we're down in the cave once more, and I want to get a little bit more of this aluminum, because we may need it for our next project, so reaching the core is one of our goals in the Grand Slam of Adventure, so that goal is now completed. Is this rock going to fall? Okay, let's <laughs> let's just uh, avoid the big boulder coming down here. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get some aluminum. We want to take back some of these precious resources, because again, the... This planet doesn't really have too much, uh, you know, compound and things like that. Whereas, it does have a lot of these rare materials like aluminum and stuff that aren't as common on the main planet. Which is where we're going to head next because I want to try to make my way, or at least I'm hoping to make my way toward the north pole of our home planet. Which was another part of the Grand Slam. I think that is all the aluminum it looks like. Yep, okay, very good. And I think I saw some coal up here, I want to say. Let me just take a look here. Up this way. we got to be careful because there are, you know, nasty plants and stuff up here. Or more specifically on this wall up here. But I thought I saw, yeah, some coal right here. There's also coal on the surface of this world. Let's see, that gas is not making its way up here, is it? I don't see any right now. I see some copper down there. But I also think I want to get some coal here, so let me just grab a little bit of this. All, the, all these things coming down. There we go. So this has a lot of these rare materials, which is fantastic. Let me just grab a little bit of this coal. There we go. And is that all, all there is? I think that is it. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's just head on back up to the surface now. And I want to get some other rare materials. Might do a little bit of uh, trucking on the surface to get some other materials like coal and... Uh, some copper maybe um, but yeah then we want to head back to the main planet and yeah start to head toward the North Pole okay guys so we got a bunch of different stuff including this strange research part here which I don't think we've researched before so I'm curious to see what this gets for us maybe something interesting fingers crossed come on baby oh nothing okay well we tried at least, we tried. Uh, let me go ahead and offload some of these resources. We got a bunch of stuff, we got a bunch of copper, we got a bunch of uh, coal. I think I actually want to take, definitely want to take this one with me to back to the home base. So let's just take that, put that down there. We're also going to smelt up these copper in our smelter at the moment. So let's just run on over here. 
Our smelter should be right here. Yep, nice. So let's just, hopefully we can manipulate this so that, yeah, there we go. We can put down our copper right here. Let's take this aluminum as well. And I think we got, do we have the slots there for that? Uh, now we'll just take these two copper that are already smelted and there we go. Now we should be able to smelt those up. Very nice, very nice. All right, sweet. Start to smelt some more up as well. Uh, let's just take a few more of these. So there we go. Got some aluminum, got some copper. Very nice. And let's see, we want to take back, I think, some astronium as well. So let's just, let's see, we'll move this over here. Move the resin over there. Let's take this aluminum, put it back right there. And we will put this right there like so. Let's also take, yeah, some, like I said, some, whoops, some compounds. Take some compound back. The resin I don't think we really need too much of. And let's go ahead and take, whoops, not that, just this one. The whole thing. There we go. Take this whole thing back with us to our main base. We'll just plop this right onto our storage area. Very good. So we got some aluminum. Um, let's see what else. Compound. Resin might be useful. I'm trying to think what else we could we could use here. Uh, let's see. The battery over there is going to stay. It should be fine. Generator might be somewhat useful to take. Nah, we'll leave it here. I think we got pretty much everything we need. Uh, this North Pole trip to the uh, to the base is not going to be too difficult, I don't believe. Uh, I'll tell you what, we could also take one more thing of compound. Just in case, and maybe one more aluminum. Perfect, yeah. We'll take this, this whole thing here. Lock that down, and there we go. Okay, I think we're all set. We got pretty much every slot full, except for this back side, honestly. Um... But, you know what, I think, I think we'll be okay. I want to leave some stuff here. So we're leaving, you know, some compounds, some resin, stuff like that, here. But we'll be back here, we'll be back here. So yeah, I think we got what we need. I'm pretty certain. Just trying to see, I wonder, hmm. I kind of want to smelt the rest of this up. You could take some titanium, nah, you know what, we'll leave it here. We'll leave everything else here. And yeah, we'll head back to our main area. Can always remove this and put it up here, I guess. There we go. All right, we should have the fuel and stuff to get there. So let's just go ahead and take off. Off we go. With a bunch of coal on us. Aluminum, copper, resin, astronium. Got it all here, man. <laughs> all right, so. Here is our current planet right there, and we are going to take off right here and head back to our home planet, which is currently out of range. So, we actually got to wait here for the orbits of the planets to align such that we can, you know, make a burn and then get back to the home planet. But that's where we're headed right there, so I'll, I'll give it a few minutes. Sometimes it takes a little while for these planets to come around. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a few minutes and then we'll burn over to that planet. Alright guys, so we are slowly but surely catching up to the home planet here. Uh, one cool thing about this game I just want to note is that the the orbital mechanics here actually make sense. And you don't always have the opportunity to go to any planet you want at any time. Which I really like. Um, it's, it's long enough of a time period, like it's been a couple minutes now, that I've had to wait a little bit for the planets to come around, but not long enough that it's annoying. Um, it's also cool that the planets, like the irradiated planet right here and the arid planet right here, they're closer in, so they're more frequently in your sphere of influence. Like, they're easier to get to because they travel around the sun quicker than some of these outer planets, especially this tundra. Tundra planet takes forever to go around the sun. Um, as far as I can tell, irradiated planet is the closest to the sun, then arid planet, then the exotic planet, then uh, Terran. This is the barren moon. And then finally the tundra planet is the furthest out, which makes kind of sense, so, right? I mean, like... You have the irradiated planet right next to the sun, and then the other planets, um, yeah, correspond to that. And, of course, the tundra is furthest out, because it's coldest. But, anyway, we're ready to burn back Terran. 
Just a cool little detail about this game. One of the many cool things about it. And so... Come on over here. <laughs> you can see there are some graphical glitches here. Like these should be on a planet, not out just out in space randomly. Uh, but okay, let's see where our base is here. I think we are actually close to the equator of the planet. Let's just... Uh, let's quickly see where we're at. So our base is oh okay our base is right there so yeah it's pretty much on the equator so it's gonna be a kind of a long haul to the north pole all the way up here I mean that's that's a fair distance so let's just get back down to the level where we can see our house there we go and I think we want to go this one hopefully that's the right one <laughs> hopefully I don't land on my truck like I did at the beginning of the episode I think we should be okay though there we go and I think in the future they actually Oh, I landed right on top of my, my spaceship. Nice. Alright, awesome. So, this whole area... Looking very nice, looking very nice. Okay. And why are there no... Oh, there's the plants. Okay. Takes a little bit for the stuff to load in at times. Like the plant life and stuff. And the rot. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting some stuff coming in. Cool. Alright, so, what do I got here? I got pretty much nothing here at the moment. I got a drill head. I'd like to potentially make a winch. Uh, let me just grab a chest or a thing full, a storage thing full of uh, compound. Do I have compound on my back as well? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Uh, let me just swap out a few of these copper for some compounds. Because I want to make some beacons as we go along. So we're going to need some compound to do just that. So, we'll need that. Uh, let's see, we also want to just offload some of this stuff so let's just put this stuff down here there's our trading platform right over there let's uh let's put this stuff down whoops uh well not over there I'll go right over there with it fantastic uh actually i want to take this with us we'll put this on our truck here's our truck over here with our battery and stuff that turbine that wind turbine's going like <laughs> going like crazy right now okay Let's see, which way is north? North is this direction. That way. So we already have a beacon in that direction, which is good to know. It's good to know. And we gotta maintain heading no heading north, which is gonna be easier said than done. Let me just offload a few more things here. Let's plop this one down. Uh, let's do... Can I put this on here somewhere? Let's just dump this off elsewhere. Uh, over there. So we can make some room for it. Oh, nope, I don't need that astronium. I'm very curious to see what they put for the astronium, because this stuff's not easy to get. You have to dig down pretty far on the main planets to get it. Alright, let's dump this off. And then we'll take our truck and start to head off. I think we got a few empty storage areas that we can use on our truck as we head out. There we go. So, for instance, this one right here would be perfect, because it has a windmill on it as well. So let's just put this right up here. And like I said, I also want to see if we can get a winch before we go. Let's see what that takes. I don't think it takes too terribly much. But we can pull... We can, that means we can basically pull stuff behind us. So let me see. Battery, generator, habitat, seat, winch. Uh, titanium. Okay. I think that's the one thing we left behind, unfortunately. Um, let's see. We can grab... Another storage thing or two, though. Oh, backpack full. Okay, yeah, we already got that. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make this this winch yet. Should have grabbed some titanium, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Uh, let's see. Generator. We'll take that small generator. We basically just need more storage space, which we have the compound to make now. So we'll just make a little bit more storage, and then we'll head off. Okay, guys, so I think we are all set and ready to go for the most part. Uh, I just want to make sure I got everything. I got a habitat on here. I got a solar panel. We got a bunch of resin to build up our base. We left a lot of empty storage spots as well, and we got some compounds uh, ready to go. So, again, let's check real quick which way is north. And it appears to be, yep, that direction. Okay. Very good, very good. So, let's hop into our truck and start to head out. We also got like a wind vane up here as a way to generate power. 
And we'll just take our, this whole truck and everything out there. Might find some interesting stuff as we're going out this direction, but we'll see. So I already have somewhat of a beacon over that, that way, but... Yeah, I'm going to head out here, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm out of time for today, but we will continue this journey next time. So until then, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do leave a like. This has been Cub. Goodbye.